Five Unusual People in the World, Part Twenty. Hello, everyone. I'm Kisha, and wish you all have a great time here. We were all born different, with different geographical locations and genetic codes, in which there are billions of special people. I believe some of you have heard of. Let's explore through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. From an insecure girl, because of her disabled appearance, this girl has been increasingly confident, brave, and known as an influential model. Number five, Sherry Louise. Sherry Louise, 29 years old, model from New Plymouth, New Zealand, attracts more than 74,000 followers online with her beauty and uniqueness. At six, she was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer and had to have her entire left leg amputated. Unfortunately, the surgery removed half of Louis' pelvis, leaving her unable to use a prosthetic leg. With such an incomplete body, she used to be low esteem and guilt about her imperfections. She always thought she couldn't get a job, have a lover, or get married. She always wished that one day she had two legs and always cried. Everything changed when Louise turned twenty. She found friends on social networks, many of whom were like her, and they began to share photos of themselves. Louise also befriended a female model who had her leg amputated and admired when she posts photos of herself in swimsuits or showing off her scars. That helps her to be more confident in life and gradually reduce negative thoughts. However, Louise also faced cruel comments online. Some say she photoshopped her leg to get attention. Of course, she was hurt at being misunderstood, but for now, she's still proud of herself. Louise received contracts with several international brands, and with her story, I hope more children with disabilities will know it. I hope they will become more confident and continue writing their own stories in the most meaningful way. When we are sad, some people need chocolates, while some go for bottles of wine or meet their friends. But have you ever seen a person eat the stones? The stones, literally. Number four, Teresa Widener. Teresa Widener, a woman born in 1967 from Bedford, Virginia, USA, has extremely strange eating habits. The horrible food that she can't live without every day is stones and dirt. She crushed pebbles and enjoyed them for more than twenty years. She ate up an incredible three thousand pounds rock and lots of other little stones. She chews the stone the same way as we eat chocolate bars. Doctors said that Teresa's monstrous eating habits stem from Pica disease, a syndrome of addiction to eating things that are not food. Teresa can easily break the stones in her mouth. She likes to eat pebbles because they have an earthy taste. The stones help her feel more comfortable, especially when she is sad. That's why there are always stones in her closet. Whenever she has free time, she often looks for stones around her home, park, and roadside. However, Teresa's eating disorder was improved by her new husband, Jim, when he helped her cut off the stones eating habit. Although she couldn't quit it immediately, her husband helped her reduce the addiction. Now we will come to a man that perhaps you have only met in cartoons, the man with the most prominent nose in the world. Number three, Mehmet Ozurek. Mehmet Ozurek, 71, from Turkey, is famous for having the longest nose in the world. His nose length is 8.8 centimeter or 3.46 inch, as measured by Guinness World Records in March 2010. When Mehmet was young, he experienced unfriendly comments from his classmates. His friends often call him "big nose," that makes him very uncomfortable. However, he couldn't do anything to change it. I think with a nose as long and big as Pinocchio, he can smell food from a great distance. If he continues to develop and study more deeply, it is also possible that his nose has the ability to detect extraterrestrial aliens. Since the nose is composed of cartilage, it is one of the few parts of the body that continues to grow as we get older. So Mehmet Ozurek is quite capable of breaking his own record. Goodbye to the man with the longest nose. Let's meet a girl whose tongue is longer than his nose. Number two, Adrian Lewis. 
Adrian Lewis was born in 1997 in Michigan, USA. She has such a long tongue that she can easily touch her nose, chin, elbows, and even her eyes with a little help. It is something that most normal people can't do. Her tongue measures four inches. After a recent photo of Adrian's tongue went viral online, she contacted the Guinness Book of World Records to find out if she can be the new title holder. Adrian thinks that both her phonics for sticking her tongue out as a child and her genetics have caused it to grow longer. Adrian believes that her long tongue is inherited from her maternal. Her mother and grandmother both has very、really、long tongues. However, none has such impressively long tongue as hers. She also said that her unusually long tongue caused her to be teased and bullied at school. But in return, she used his tongue as a weapon against the bullies. Although the Guinness Book of World Records refused to meet her three times, she also got her name in the book Ripley's Believe It or Not. The book features a wide variety of interesting, amusing, and even quirky stories around the world. All right, are you ready, Isaac? Oh my God! No one wants to be born with a strange disease that can never be cured. That will cause a lot of guilt, low self-esteem, even negative thoughts. But that cannot be changed. Number one, Priscilla Biano. Priscilla Biano was born in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, on April twenty-six, nineteen eleven. When she was born, not only was her head full of black hair, but also a coarse black coat covered her entire face and body. She also has unusual teeth. After many visits to the hospital, American doctors have said that she is the result of a genetic defect and can never be cured. Ever since a child, Priscilla's hirsutism has attracted the attention of the public. Her father thought his daughter would make a great attraction in the show. He approached performer Carl Lothar, who made Priscilla shine in an instant. Lothar treats Priscilla well. He doesn't want people to call his adopted child "monkey girl." Lothar didn't like the name, but it helps him gain a lot of gigs. In a performance, Priscilla got acquainted with Amit Biano, who was known as Crocodile Skin. They had a romantic relationship. To escape the protective grasp of her adoptive father, the couple eloped one night in 1938. They later returned to the stage as the world's strangest married couple. Priscilla and Amit worked together for a number of years, after which they retired to get away from prying eyes. Priscilla died in her sleep in February 2001. You see, they really stand out in the crowd. Anyone who meets them once can remember them forever. I don't think that any of them is unlucky. They are very lucky because they have enough strength to continue their journey. If you know someone special, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.